position to the back of the head, holding the head up tall so that the head doesn't uh, go forward or back much, but rather staying straight up. With the eyes open, you can bring your hands up to above your head. Soft arms, soft elbows, soft shoulders. Relaxing as you're standing upright, deep breath. Keep on going deeper, deeper breath. Bigger exhale, straighten the arms, each up breath, so that you actually end up being a bit longer. And the arms, and as well as your overall height of the arms. And shutting the eyes again, taking another deep breath, feeling entirely how it feels, the experience of how you feel about something else, but how you're feeling in your body. And gently to your right, you tilt it a little bit. And on the in-breath you come up, you gently tilt over to the other side a little bit. And up to the middle, over to the other side a little bit more. And then staying on that side, going deeper. Coming up in breath, going to the other side a bit more. Stay on that side, go a bit deeper. A bit deeper. Upright, and then you can go to upside down, forward, hanging down. Feet wide, let the body hang completely upside down. Back in the neck, feeling our greater length. It's the same area that you Blood sign up breath. <sighs> Roll back to upright in breath. Then you can place your hands on the flat back, lower buttock area, upper buttock area. Deep in breath, exhale, deep breath. Looking up at the roof, feel that same area, and loosen the length of the neck, short with the back bend there of the head. But keep the head high, then collapse the neck. It's safer for the spine to keep pressing the face up, shoulders back, chest open. Forward on the in breath, you can rest down onto your hands and knees. With your hands fully carrying the weight of the upper body, move the lower back, hips, sacrum, coccyx area, moving not necessarily small or large movements, just feel movement. It can be either, some experimental. Straighten one leg and just stay with it. Straight. Keep your weight on the two arms. Stretching the hamstring then the straight leg. Other right back of the knee, same thing. Shoulders are fairly up. Forward and you hang upside down. Exhale. Let your head swing loose, left and right, forward and back. Shake it loose a bit. Hands back up to the knees. Deep in breath. You're looking far as you can forward. Trying to see over the horizon. Deep in breath, big exhale. Head hang free. Shoulders away from the ears now. So crane the crown forward towards me. Rolling upright with the in-breath. Bring the feet together. Exhale. Lifting up your right arm. Other hand on the lower back like this. So deep in-breath up. Big exhale. And you're looking up towards your hand. Deep breath. Staying like that. The shoulders help your chest to go more open. Lift the arm up higher, breathing more, deeper. Feel more tension, leave your shoulders. Leave your breath. And 
bringing the hand on, up breath, feeling the arms hang from the shoulders, both of them. Large sigh, let your head hang forward a little bit as well. And then lift up the other arm. Deep in breath, big exhale. Lift the arm up, open up the chest. Deep breath. And just keep breathing, keep loosening. Keep stretching, keep remaining aware, again, on how you feel about something outside of you, only how you feel about your arms, body, legs. Deep in breath, keep reaching and breathing. back, feet a bit wider, lifting the arms up and up and up, let the head swing or hang free forward down, keep lifting up, and keep reaching with the arms up towards the roof. Straighten the legs as best as you can, lifting up the whole body. Then <coughs> release from there in the arm breath. <sighs> Bringing your arms back to up above your head, similarly how we had right in the beginning. You can bring the feet together. The body will be somewhat looser and taller, you can experience that easily. Now you're looking back up at your hand. It's much easier to go into a back bed now. The belly feels longer, the lower back feels looser. And bringing the hands to shoulder height, palms pointing fingers, palms down. Chest forward, arms back. See how far you can go forward without falling. Far, 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 you actually an angle forward. Deep in breath, feet together. Big exhale, arms back, the chest is open, the shoulders are back, the neck should be relaxed. Deeper breath, in bigger heart. Bring the hands to your ten fingers, touching. Five on the side, two thumbs. Looking at your hands, hands in front of the chest. Closing the eyes, take a deep breath. Thinking of conceptualizing the left of your body. If you can't see it, but you can think about it. You know that you have a left side, left side of the road, using your left hand. Think of the other side, not that far over. Other side, feel it, conceptualize it, know it's there. And bringing the hands to prayer, so just pressing the palms flat, you can open the eyes and look at your hands. Feel the two sides, left and right, pressing into each other. Contact point is only between the hands and the fingers. But it's an entire left and right upper body that's contacting in the middle there. Deep breath, press harder. Pressing the two sides into each other, making both stronger. No side is winning. Staying in the center with the hands. All is winning in the sense that you're getting stronger. Then opening up the chest, taking the hands to point the fingers at yourself. Deep in breath, lift the body up longer, tilt the head forward a little bit. You can see if you can point the fingers down more, depends on how loose your uh, joints are. Putting the hands forward a long way, deep in breath. Big exhale like this. This place the feet a bit wider, ground into bending knees. Like that. Hands on the flat back, easy table position. So 
Bending the knees a little again. Body parallel with the floor. Flat hands, flat back. Feel the flat space there. Just a little tap in the wall. Powerful breathing, bend the knees a lot now. And then arms next to the head pointing forward. You're looking right down at the floor. Breathe powerfully, continuously, straight arms. You can bend the knees to 90 degrees if your knees allow. Otherwise you don't hurt yourself. Breathe powerfully more, stronger. Flat back, head between the arms. So you're working up quite a breath uh, energy. Force dynamic, so dynamic breathing. And then from there, you can hang upside down briefly, straighten the legs. Big sigh, close the eyes, pinch the eyes. Big sigh, exhale, relax the jaw, shake your head a little bit. Bend the knees and let's roll all the way to standing upright again. And now we can roll over the sides of our feet so that we Loosen the ankles a lot. Roll vigorously. Relax the neck and shoulders. The arms can be free of all doing. Just swinging. Walk through the length of the feet. Standing with one foot. Other foot up and forward. Rotate the foot several times. Ankle. Change the direction. Change the direction of the feet as well, other foot. Shake it out, shake it out. Standing on the first foot, first leg, catch hold of the foot, find it, your fingers at the toes, and then the foot behind you, other arm helps you to balance. Open up the chest, deep in breath, relax the whole upper body, you do a very good uh, curvature of the lower back, feel a deep, deep in breath, big out breath, relax your shoulders, keep it as a relaxing stretch, no deep aim, just easy grip, release, find your other foot, balance, once you got the foot, use the arm, deep in breath, big exhale. Shoulders down, head, neck and shoulder loose. Deep breath, smoothly. Foot out at the back, relax the neck and shoulders. Find an easy balance. And releasing the place the feet wide, hands back to the knees. Head free, side out through the mouth. Feel it, the low back feels a little looser. And open the eyes. If you close your eyes, press the knees as wide as possible. Feet parallel, more or less, to the edges of the mat. Press the knees wider, open up the chest. Sink low down as possible. And straight legs. Press the knees back, slide your hands to the ankles, try to look forward if possible. Deep in breath, hands on the floor, out breath, and bringing the legs to crossed leg position. Sit yourself down, legs easy cross position. Deep in breath, big out breath. Sitting comfortably as possible, deepest breath. Find yourself, give yourself a minute, find it space for yourself and raising the crowd <coughs> so we've done you know, about 10 about 15 minutes warm up of the body which is all useful practices so uh, that one can sit more easily so if you're not sitting comfortably in your car or your office then you're less likely to uh, be able to focus 
Deep in breath, big out breath. Closing the eyes. You will sit on and shut out the body or override the body. So you want to meditate and yoga in the body, into the body. Closing the eyes. Feel a very careful precision adjustment of the body. As soon as we slouch, our energy is different. When we posture ourselves, more aggressively, our energy is different. When we posture, like we're going to do some sport or whatever, in this case, yoga, our energy is more like yoga. Feel the body reflects a state of mind. What a state of mind reflects how we are in the body. Taking in the longest, deepest breath, lifting the back of the neck, long head up and up and up and up. So you're very deliberately rising towards the crown. Don't you relax the shoulders. Just breathe freely, or not much paying attention to anything, but a little bit of everything. A little bit of the breath, a little bit of the body. Feel if you wanted to move forward or back, it's easy. Small range of looseness movement. See that you're not holding tension or tightness or stiffness. Relax the jaw. Clench our teeth or our fists in some kind of a frustration. Different feeling to when we're feeling serene or relaxed. We can also mimic, imitate, like a poker face. We deliberately make ourselves unreadable, hard to read. Or when we see somebody walk through the door that we want to be friendly with, we smile automatically. Other person feels welcome, greeted. Deep in breath, big exhale. Open the eyes with a big sigh. <coughs> You can move in a small circle with your hands underneath. Move in a meditation as if in a walking meditation. Walking is a sport, but it's a state of mind. Change the direction, moving. Not as an exercise, but as in a meditation. So that you're contemplating the body. Again, how does the body feel? Of how you feel about something, which is more intellectual, different from the emotion as well. Change direction one or two more times, two or three more circles. Placing the long legs forward, feet wide as your mat. Put one hand behind, it doesn't matter which, other hand on the plexus here, the solar plexus area. Point the toes at yourself, take a deep breath, you're looking up at about 45 degrees. Take the same practice we've done so far, warm up with the body and the meditation, put them two together in one practice. Shoulders back, chest up, upper body getting stronger, there's an exercise element, the strong arm at the back. There's an awareness of you holding your own plexus area. We'll come back to that in a moment. Deep in breath. Close the eyes for a few moments. Feel the breath there where your hand is and the belly. 
Big exhale, coming up all the way on the in-breath. Switch your hands and same thing with the other arm at the back, giving the other trines, uh, shoulder, hand shoulder trines to exercise. Deep in-breath, shoulders back. So if you press appropriately or hard enough, then the back arm, upper body area gets stronger. Your legs are remaining fairly uh, firm, not stiff. Stiff is in a, a useful state for the body. Firm ease, strong ease, flexible ease, deep breath, in, out. Strong breath, firm breath, good for the body. Coming up all the way in the in breath. Keep both hands on the belly knot, leaning forward. And as you rest forward, exhale, hands to the ankles. You feel that same area open where your hands were. A little bit squashed, pressurized by the forward bend. Let your neck and shoulders relax, the head should feel its own weight. The lower back is stretching looser, your hamstrings loosening and lengthening back of the knees as well. So you are moving forward now with ease. You can turn your head to the one and then to the other side a little. As you rest forward, exhale. You can also then shake the head and feel that you're loosening up every part of the body. Big sigh out through the mouth. Coming up as an in breath. Bringing the feet together for butterfly position. Large sigh on the out breath, you're closing the eyes. <coughs> Breathing out with a sigh again, out through the mouth. Bringing yourself to the focus of meditation in the body as a body practice. Feel the body much less cluttered by emotions or under the influence of thoughts. So a nice way, easy way to experience this is to actually have a thought. To start thinking about something. And then notice that that thinking then happens actually in the head. It's up there. So when you're in the body, aware of the body, and you shift up to the head, you can actually feel how that happens. And by bringing your attention into the breath, following the breath, the breath is the one thing that can easily lead you to the bottom of the lungs. That's where the focus goes. And bringing your focus to the lower back and the coccyx area and the sit bones, relax your inner thighs. You've taken all the effort so far to loosen up the body, to warm up, to bring our focus into the body. So going for a massage, takes you into the body. Big sigh, exhale, sink into the back as if you're slouching, but you're still holding yourself upright. If you had to fall unconscious, you literally fall onto the floor, fall asleep. You're conscious, you're aware, upright. Deep in breath, lift yourself as high as you can, open the eyes, using your hands and walk one hand, other hand forward, putting yourself forward and forward and forward. There's a large stretch happening, large as in from the sit bones, buttocks, lower back, all the way to your fingertips. Bring the head down towards the feet. So it's like a long space, a long area that is stretching forward. It's a large curve. Deep exhale, let your head free. Meditation is also this kind of awareness. Being aware of the shape of something. You can meditate on an object, like a bow, an arrow, like a bow. It's a shape, an arrow is a shape. Deep in breath, all the way upright. Exhale. 
is in feet forward, all the way straight in, toes at your side. Hands at the back, palms down, fingers pointing back. Feel the shape of the body now. You have the bow the opposite direction, face up to the roof. So there's also a contemplation on shape, body shape. So if your chest is slouching and you're not back bending, then your chest isn't open at the solar plexus. So the solar plexus is that uh, middle central chakra of the body. Deep in breath, big exhale. So making a bow in each direction is what we're doing here. And then it opens the chakra of the belly, that's like a valve there. Deep in breath, big exhale. Sorry, did you get standing outside? Come inside, join us there in the middle. Deep in breath, big exhale. And then from there, all the way upright, feel the bow happening again in the back. This time bending forward with the head down, head, neck and shoulders relaxed, exhale. And you're resting forward, back of the knees, back of the hamstrings, hamstrings are at the back. Exhale, you're stretching forward, hanging free. <sighs> Big sigh, out breath. And out breath helps us to loosen. What are we loosening? We're loosening how we are inside our bodies. Coming upright as an in-breath, and we bring our legs back to cross-leg position. Big out-breath, and we're going in another couple of circles. Eyes are open, make it like a happy movement. So, having fun, it's like playing in the sand. You can be like serious <coughs> and very arty when you build sand castles, or you can also just have fun doing it. Combination, so it's like that, try to feel you know, loose, free, and easy in the body. In the state of mind. Big sigh, out breath, shake the head a little bit. <sighs> and then palms open, exhale. Closing the eyes, bring the thumb to the index finger. So, a way of bringing ourselves to a lighter, looser place in this position would be to <coughs> imagine, experience a tranquil expression on the face as opposed to frowning. We often frown without even knowing it. So relax the jaw and taking a smooth deep in and out breath. So our sequencing so far has been more or less case okay, so of meditation in action, body movement be part of contemplation, on body movement, other way around. Lifting the crown up more tall, bring your attention to the whole spine, feel the body, so you can't get this wrong or right, you're doing it, so that's the effect of it. Deep in big out breath, large side out breath. If you get your thumb to the index finger, feel it, the connection, feel the touch we had earlier, left and right. Feel here, also the left and the right sides, with the hands further apart, and the hands touching the middle, and the hands are at the knees, still touches into the body at the middle of the spine. All the way up the arms. Deep in breath, hold the breath. Long slow out. Smoothness with slow up breath takes us to a very quiet place for a couple of moments. You can feel that. Easy in, move the feet forward. Excuse me, paddle the feet, long legs, deep in breath, right side out breath, and then wipe the feet, further stretching the knees and the hamstrings, bringing your hands to fingertips of the big toes, lift the body up long and tall, 
So you're as upright as can be, not as far forward as possible, but as straight back as possible. Deep in breath, you can lift the whole head up and tilt your head to look at your toes or fingers. You can even connect all your fingers to all your toes. Deep in breath, big out breath, feel the space from the ribs to the sit bones. Long space, flat back, feel the space from under the uh, rib cage at the front to the front of your hips. So long belly, bend the knees if you need to. So you feel like your back breaks or hurts. Big sigh, out breath. And using one leg over, you can twist that side. So take this foot, knee, that side of the uh, leg. So everybody, Michaela, other way around. Otherwise, you're going to get confused. You too. Otherwise, you're going to get confused with the uh, turning direction. Okay, and you're facing that way. That's it. Chest is up, crown is up and your shoulders are pointing to the front and the back of the room in other words your chest, chest is facing the wall there um, yeah yeah deep in breath big exhale in closing the eyes be fully aware of the content of your body so we twist twisted palm uh, to bring out the water, like a dishcloth or tablecloth or something. Then we can see how it's twisted, it's not a flat surface any longer. So feel the body normally a trunk, now it's like a twisted trunk. But you're not looking at it in a mirror, you're using your internal mental awareness, the mind and the body, called the body-mind in yoga. One thing, the mind, the body feels the one, the other. Deep breath in, big out. Feel how it's twisted. Then turning forward and the in breath, exhale. So to use the unfortunate uh, expression of bitter and twisted, so when we talk about a person that's bitter and twisted, we can immediately see such a person in our mind. And when we're feeling bitter and twisted about something, we can also immediately feel how the body is a little bit like that. Okay, so it's just a, an example of the body mind. But at the same time, completely different thing. When you think of fun, you say like, I was having fun. When the other person sees you all like, I'm having fun, uh, recollection, and they almost feel the energy as well. But it's not like, I was having fun. You feel like, yeah, it was so much fun, you know? Okay. Then like this, same to the other side. So firstly, you're holding yourself up tall. So the more tall, the easier to twist. Turn to the opposite side, closing the eyes, take a deep in-breath, big out-breath. Feel the back shoulder pointing right back and the front shoulder pointing right forward. Deep in-breath, big exhale, and you've got your best possible twist. And you can easily feel it's not about how awesome is my twist, but how accurate is it, my perception of it, how much is it helping my body, and how much am I learning to be more of a body-mind, balance of head and heart space and hip space, and environmental, we can feel ourselves on the floor in our surroundings, in our surroundings also, being the air that we breathe. Deepest, smoothest breath. Feel the body secure into the floor. The long leg, foot on the floor, toes pointing at yourself. So this is a contemplation of the object of the body. You can feel your internal world. Deepest, smoothest breath. 
deep, smooth breath will actually help your body go deeper into your practice. And turning forward, in breath, exhale. Both feet there, <coughs> hands now at the ankles. You can round the back a little bit until you can reach. Big exhale, let your head hang free. You can easily feel the straight line forward. So you're learning a lot of your body by thinking of the body as a bow in this case again. And how the forward bow helps to compress the organs of the body so that more energy flows through it after the practice. So when you come up here on the in-breath, you take your feet to Sorry, hands to the back, you relax the feet, both shoulders back, deep in breath, we nicely warmed up, we've done this several times already, chest up, then you can feel the bow goes to the opposite direction, and that's the flexibility of the bow, it has great power, it can project an arrow, because of the shape of the string and the bow, deep breath and big up breath. Big exhale, faces up to the sky, there's no tension in the neck, the throat chakra is wide open. When one chakra opens, it feeds energy into the other chakras as well. Deep in breath, big exhale, so we become a little bit more holistically aware through our chakras, just like we become holistic aware of the whole of the body. It's the body-mind experience coming up from the in-breath. Feet together, exhale. We're rocking to the sides, further loosening sit bones. Breathe with a sigh breath out. Let your head free, loosen the neck and shoulders. Then bringing the legs to cross-leg position. So I specifically mentioned earlier the solar plexus and we had our hands there. So as I often say, that's a, that, that's a place where we experience anxiety. Extreme anxiety can be just a little bit all the time, or it can be uh, very extreme in a short space of time when you're having a sudden fear or something. And this area, uh, when you take a deep in-breath, big out-breath, it opens up. It's just like the chest. It breathes. So when we take the arms up like this, Instead of crumpling or kind of holding that area in a small space, you're actually opening up the space. It's just like the land. So we feel better when we more laid back, open up like that. So in the same way when you frown, it's like a small kind of an uh, unpleasant state. And this is like way the opposite to bitter or twisted. It's this open space and it's even fun loving, it's very embracing. Deep in breath, big exhale. So you open up the whole body, embracing, very uh, in the opposite to brace, then taking the arms to the back, bring the head forward and down, squeeze the arms up and the shoulders up, loosen the shoulders, go one side higher, other side higher, feel that you're twisting, moving, maneuvering, massaging the body, Holding the arms like that, legs forward straight, bounce the knees, the feet and ankles, breathe a sigh out breath, cross the legs again, this time the other leg forward, so you can remember which, deep in breath, big out breath, you're moving forward again, move a little bit, then sitting upright, arms back to hands a bit higher than the head, big exhale, open up the chest, Deepest breath, big out breath, out through the mouth, in the nose, out the mouth, twice more, open up the chest, feel how you're removing all traces of anger, resentment, or the normal states of attachment to happiness. Another topic, bringing your hands to the knees, exhale, big sigh, close the eyes, so you're removing all feelings and emotions and the body just remains a pure place of energy. Big sigh, out breath. 
So when we practice this practice of impersonal happiness, so it's not attached happiness, you're not happy just because you bought something or because somebody gave us a compliment, we're happy because of our connection to energy flowing through us. Deep breath in, big out breath. And then slowly open your eyes. What you also feel there is, it gives you a great sense of peace, and that's what we talk about as inner peace. So, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with somebody says to you, hey, you're such a nice person. You go, oh, it feels so nice. That's a compliment. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but there is something wrong with it if you're only functional when people give you compliments. There's something, well, I want to say wrong, you know what I mean. There's something more nice or right about it. If you can go into the space, you go, oh, I'm actually feeling really nice. It's like you that's feeling nice. That's from you because it's, it's just energy, right? So that's easy enough to contemplate. So just feel that for a minute. And that's how you foster that inner peace. So you experience it for a second. Then if you experience it for a minute, it settles more. So it becomes more part of you. Okay, so you're just breathing in and out. And you think about it a little bit, so you consider it. You don't just take my word for it. You're going, yeah, it makes sense. I can feel it in my body. Or maybe I'll feel it another time, so you're open to the idea. Big sigh, big exhale, but you can see this can't just be an idea. If it's only an idea in your head, then how are you feeling it? Our head just calculates, it doesn't actually feel. So your body is like the feeler and the head is the calculator. That's why inner peace has to happen in the body. Stop, that's it. Over a minute now, let's go forward to hands and knees and the plank. So here we're walking straight, feet back, hands down, arms under us, straight legs, and tuck the toes under so you can then walk the feet forward towards you. You get a bigger calf stretch, back of the neck, long chin tucked in, bend the elbows a little bit so the arms and the chest is strong. If you balance beautifully, like straight lines, but loose lines as well, so you don't look like you're so tight or uncomfortable that the shape is unpleasing to a beholder. Deep in-breath, big exhale, so also feel you are the beholder in awareness of yourself. <coughs> so feel how it is for you. Deep in-breath, big exhale. Back in the neck as well, there's no tension in the head, the face. Big sigh out breath, oh, the weight spread on the arms, and feet and legs. Deep in breath to down dog, exhale. Walk your feet a little bit nearer towards the front so the heels can get down. You may bend the knees if you have to. Large sigh, exhale, then try straighten the knees. Hands are wide as the mat, feet together in the center line. It's a powerful, strong alignment practice. Strong arms. The weight spread more easily through the arms and the legs of the plank, so it's a bit easier. Bring the feet all the way forward. Bend the knees, your chest on the thighs. Walk the hands to the back, maneuver them to the back. You're going to go to a boat balance, bringing the hips down, catching a hold of both feet, knees bent. You can have your upper arms on the knees. Shins, oops, they have fell over. Big exhale to find the balance. Straighten one leg and straighten the other leg. If you can do one at a time, you can probably do two at the same time. So those who can, your legs can be straight up forward. Big sigh, out breath, the shoulders are down. If you need to bend the knees, have the feet wider, then you can do that. So if you land the balance in here, and it's easy, then rather do this than falling over the whole time in the more tricky place. So it's not about ducking out of the challenge, but it's about getting a good mixture of what you can and what you can't at the moment. Big sigh out breath. 
deep in breath, big exhale. Deeper breath, bigger chest. Let the practice warm your body. Deeper in breath, bigger heart. Bringing the feet to butterfly pose, but not on the floor, just here. So it's not so hard. You can put your hands at the knees. You can balance. You can go like this. I think we can all do it. Yeah? We can maybe write ourselves in at the what is it? Circus Act Puzzle. Deep in breath, big exhale. Traveling Yogi Show. And see if you can make it a bit more circusy. Deep breath. Open up the chest. Excellent. Feet together. Other side. Deep breath in, big up breath. And then see how cool you are. And you can sit like that. And you can feel you had your muscles exercise. So it's a nice, strong exercise. Deep in breath, big exhale. The hands are hanging forward. Body is loose, eyes are closed. <sighs> so having a certain sense of satisfaction from having done that little trick there. It was nicely choreographed, very really beautiful. Big sigh, out breath. You can also feel that energy of the satisfaction. It's also energy. So when we have a task well accomplished, we feel good because of the task that we've accomplished, more because of how it felt doing it than necessarily the result or the praise that you can give. <coughs> That's also why that inner sense is so important of not just doing the right thing, but something that's exciting for us. In yoga, they also call it follow your bliss, doing something that you love doing. Take a large in-breath, hold the whole breath, lift the body a bit more tall, big exhale, Bringing the arms up now, the body loose, arm, take the arms up, body loose, arms are loose, shoulders are loose. You can feel it's like that inner bliss sits here and it's massive, it's as big as your arms are reaching, as wide as your knees, deep breath in, big out breath, and you're actually radiating that energy. And again, it comes from the body, your mind, the thinking head can understand the concept but you can't have inner bliss only with a mental concept. It actually happens in the solar plexus. It can happen through the part of the mind as well. In yoga, it helps to use the body. In yoga specifically uses body and mind. Big exhale. Keep the arms like that. Straighten the legs. Paddle the feet a few times. Cross the legs again the other way around and then readjust yourself back. Deep breath in three to five times, depends on how big and strong your breath is. So you're amping up in and out the nose once or twice out the mouth, amping up your inner energy, life force, bliss, connection, bringing the hands down. This time the hands can just rest, your eyes remaining open, and you're looking at the floor in front of you. So when the uh, eyes are closed, we have a different experience to when the eyes are open. So the eyes are open, you're just looking without really looking. And then as if you want to go into a deeper level of meditation, that's what people normally do when they meditate, when people fall asleep. We eventually go, okay, let me just rest or I'm actually just sleep. Closing your eyes, and go deep into meditation, and at that decision, you take a deep breath, follow the breath into the body, you make the breath long and smooth, exhale, and you feel at the end of the up breath, if you take two, three seconds before you inhale. Take another large in and breathe with the side. You've gone deep, you can feel it. And then slowly opening the eyes. So that going deep is different for different people. 
You can see it's just like we all did the circus trick. You get into that space easily. We can now go to a dark stretch, the one in the knees. So help loosen the back, shoulder, middle back area, chest to the floor, and you're reaching forward with the hands, the chest is to the floor, the arms uh, helping to stretch the upper back and middle back. <sighs> Big side out breath. Press harder if you want to, if you like, you can press the body right down and your uh, hips are above the knees, you've got a hollow, you've got that bow shape again of your upper back and middle back. I'm going to come around in a moment to check. Uh, so bend the arms and the elbows if you need to, to protect the shoulders. So you're coming around to make sure you get a good stretch in the big, strong, masculine middle back area. So remember the whole body, arms, has the natural ability to be muscular. Then not mean Mr. Or, or Miss Universe, but muscular as in strength, flexibility. Big sigh, big up breath. Breath often helps to resolve tension. And then from there, tucking the toes under, let's go to a down dog. So that was the dog stretch, down dog, hands and feet now wide as the mat. Big sigh, let the head loose. <sighs> Swing the head free. So swing the head continuously. So when we do stuff like hanging up the washing, uh, we do a lot of adjustment. Sometimes we move the pegs wider or deeper. We take the whole thing off and we hang it somewhere else where it's better or more sunny, whatever. So we did a lot of adjustment. Else the washing never dries, take a deep in breath, big exhale, shake the head a bit looser. Same with a project, we have to move somebody, fire somebody, hire someone else. Big in breath, big exhale. <sighs> and then walking the feet all the way forward. And sitting to our circus trick. Deep in breath, big exhale. Big exhale, deep breath in and out. There's a reason for that, and you can move your feet like this. Elbows at the knees, feet up, elbow to the opposite knee, elbow to the opposite knee, and then keep repeating. Out breath, out breath, out breath, out breath. And now fiery out breath through the nose. The more water or phlegm moves through the sinus, the better. You don't shy away from clearing. Strong, short core muscles. Feet higher up. Slower, slower feet back. And using the hands, you can come to butterfly position. Big sigh, out breath. In through the nose, feel the nasal passages open, sigh out through the mouth. In through the nose, long out through the nose, roll left and right a few times, tilt your head forward a little bit. And another sigh out breath. As you sigh out, you will feel that your body has loosened in several, several areas. So thinking now of the thighs, buttocks, and the sides of your shins. 
and calves that all pointing down, so that's the down plane of the body. And the top of your head, the crown, is the higher plane. Then the insides of your thighs pointing up, that's the inner plane of your thighs. They normally look at each other, thighs of the inside. Now it's pointing up. Take a deep breath in. So as you relax the inner thigh area, hips, the hip joints, your knees will move nearer to the floor. So that gives you a certain awareness of the body in relation to the ground. Lift the crown up more, relax the neck and shoulders, closing your eyes. Readjust yourself to the tranquil expression. is yoga poker face, tranquil meditation. Nobody will look at us and think these guys are contemplating what move they're going to do with their cards. It's not that poker face. They're going, these people are looking tranquil. You must have a lot of inner peace. So it's like that. Take a deep breath. Feel tranquil which is an expression of inner tranquility. Big sigh out breath, and you go to a natural place like a river stream or a forest where it's feeling tranquil and that's not fake because that's the energy of the place. However, that's what we associate with it. Deep in breath, big exhale. So feel a real sense of body peace. Big sigh out. Eyes open, feet wide as your mat. Grab a hold of your big toes with your hands. Fingers, pull the toes towards yourself. See if your knees can now get to the ground. Move your toes towards yourself. Pulling the feet towards you and we're lifting because of that up the body. Big relaxed neck and shoulders, big out breath. So you feel like it's a strong, sturdy practice, even if your knees are bent. You've got like a grounded base, big exhale. So when we sit and meditate, when our legs are crossed, when we're in contemplation of being grounded and secure, like this, gives us a good sense of body. Big exhale, big sigh, out breath. So if somebody's looking very thin and, and, and ill, then we say, hey, let's get some meat in your bones. That kind of thing. So you want to be, okay. you want to be sturdy, you want to have a sturdy energy you feel in the body, not rickety. Deep in big exhale, but you also want looseness, rolling left and right. So I'm saying all this because we're going to do the um, down dog just now. And then that actually helps us to feel more like that. Okay, excellent. So when we actually feel, you know, when I feel insecure as a person, then when I walk into a room full of people, then I have to either pretend or I have to like make my arms like this or put on a smart jacket or something to feel like, you know, like I'm there. It's much nicer if your energy is actually like, just there. Okay? So that's like okay, whatever you would call confidence or something. But it's literally in yoga when you do this with the body, then the body goes like on its own. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's being grounded or whatever you want to call it. Okay, so down dog is very good for that. So when we go to down dog and we can even jump to it, we go like, yeah, I can. That's the feeling. The feeling you're looking for is I can. And I can in the body. Big exhale, let the heels get down, let your head swing left and right. <sighs> Big sigh, out breath, heels down. Lift the head up to look forward. I can look forward, let the head free, it can loosen. <sighs> right side breath, let the head swing free, feel the lungs. Then bring your hands to the middle, line of the mat. So same place, lengthwise, but just in the middle. Put one hand on your lower back. So it's a tripod. Switch hands. So that's a bit of exercise within the yoga. 
Take the hands wide again, both. Bring the feet together at the back. Press the heels down. Then lift onto the fingertips. Lift the head, you're looking forward. Then jump the feet all the way to between the hands. Exhale, bend the knees, your thighs under the uh, uh, belly and the ribcage. Arms next to the head. Deep in breath, your knees about 90 degrees. So it's a ski pose, looking ski pose, deep in breath, big arch. Take your hands to behind you and on the fingertips, maneuver yourself straight down, exhale, and then boat balance with your arms forward and your hands, fingers pointing, hands parallel, then point the toes as well, big open chest breath, big exhale, relaxing, heels, toes at yourself. Catch all of the feet. Now the boat balance way easier. Because we've loosened more muscles. A little bit more focus, more energy flowing. Big exhale. And we can bring the feet to the butterfly. Take the sit bones a bit further back. Exhale. Relax the neck and shoulders. Let's go into a small circle. Sigh out breath to the front. In breath to the back. Feel the body loosen. Change direction. About three circles. Out breath, round forward. In breath to the back. Exhale down. In the middle. Shake the head a little. Hands around the front of the shins. Closing the eyes. I'm thinking of a circle. And you moving around in a circle. So, pot is a nice thing to think of, porridge. So, uh, it would be pretty hard to stir your porridge with a square pot. That's why it's a circle. So, if your shoulder joints were square, you would have hardly been able to move anywhere. So, contemplate the design of your shoulder and hip joints, the ball joints. So, balls, like soccer balls. Same thing, the World Cup terrible square ball, but somehow a rugby ball does actually work. It has an unpredictable bounce and so on. Big in breath, big exhale. So thinking a little bit about shapes, bow, the shape of things. Deep in breath, big exhale. So feeling the shape of the body, that's why we move in shape. We have a certain confidence, so we get our body into shape to feel a certain energy. A desirable one for us in yoga, looseness, stability <coughs> and strength. And then you can bring your feet, hips forward to the uh, front end of your back, your front end. Let's go up to half shoulder stand. If you comfortable with going to half shoulder stand, you can go straight up to it. Once there, you can go to a higher shoulder stand. Feel what's good for your back, neck and shoulders, upper back especially. Chin should be in the middle. Elbows tucked in. I'm going to come around to check that you guys can all do it nicely. Nice for your back. Nice and raw upper back. Sorry, Virgin. Okay, elbows tucked in. Yeah. So, the elbows are in warm. Then the support will be very just strong and tight. Don't worry about this. To feel, remember that. The loosening of the body and, for instance, the shoulder stand helps you to be more easy in the body. Other poses will help you be easier in the shoulder stand. Ultimately, the shoulder stand, apart from getting blood out of the feet, is for strength and health of your ankle joints, also to strengthen the endocrine system. You can roll down onto your back from there. So, even a little bit of a shoulder stand will more than a little bit strength in the endocrine system. Then you can lie on your back, you can take your time going by variations. 
You're lying on the back, knees bent. Big sigh, out breath. Feet on the ground, knees bent. Bringing your attention to the lungs, top of the chest. So this also helps to get phlegm out of the lungs, so you recover better from a cold or chest infection. But bringing attention to the um, endocrine system, so the plexus area, and then up to the throat thyroid area, thymus, in between the heart, and then also Controller, master control glands, pineal pituitary, along the same middle line of the body. So the pituitary gland and pineal glands in the middle of your head, brain, connecting to the crown and the third eye chakra, not behind your ears, or kind of off center, but more or less in the center. Big sigh, out breath. Feel the tip of the nose and feel as you breathe, the breath in actually connects to the pituitary and pineal glands, just like the shoulder stand connected, like kind of prods or activates the thyroid and thymus. And then the solar plexus is a nerve plexus. So, Mergo on the nerve nervous system is soothed and strong, potent. It's like a big, muscular, athletic image. Back bench, forward bench. And the whole system is to your advantage. Strengthens the immunity. And it strengthens our mental reasoning, our brain capacity. Strengthens the muscles. Digestion, absorption, absorption. Nutrients. Deep breath in and up. <sighs> and sitting upright from there. Easy leg cross position. Eyes open. Thumb to the index finger, so look at that. And other fingers are straight, closing your eyes. Lift the crown up. You've got the same straight up line, head to spine, that you were aware of in the shoulder stand or lying down just now. Lift the crown up more, you're not forward or back, so you're not feeling like you're falling over. Big sigh, big in breath following. Relax the arms and the elbows. Bring the thumb to the middle finger. Breathe in and out. It's a different meridian connected. Tilt the head a little bit more forward. Back of the neck longer. Yeah. And then bring the thumb to the next finger. The other fingers can go straight now. Deep in breath, big out breath. <sighs> Sigh, exhale, strengthening all the systems that you felt so far in the session or up to this point. Bring the thumb to the small finger, now the other three fingers are straight. Breathe in and up, exhale. It's a particular configuration again, adjustment into that configuration to channel energy or life force in a certain specific particular way. Deep in breath, big exhale. And bring the ten finger in front of your hands, uh, hands in front of the chest, throat, face area. So be aware of that visually. And close the eyes. <sighs> Feel the connection, left and right sides, in the middle. So be aware of the the whole, but how the whole is aware of itself. That's holistic awareness. And you can actually feel the consciousness 
in this practice is huge because it is itself aware of its wholeness. It's like an intelligent object or an object that's alive, but at the same time an object. So if you imagine yourself a coffee mug, and this is what a coffee mug would feel like if a coffee mug was alive. Deep in breath, big exhale. <coughs> And bringing the hands to prayer in front of the chest, more beautifully perhaps, if you imagine a rose, being aware of its own scent and the dew in its drops, you can imagine yourself like that, and that's why people will often tend the rose garden and look at it in the morning light with the rose petals and the drops of dew, it's like we one with that rose, deep in breath, big exhale. And from there you can lie down flat on your back, palms next to your body, legs long, wide, floppy legs. As you relax like this, closing the eyes, take a deep breath in and out. Body releasing muscle tone. So easy to feel, loose and free in the body. Feeling the largest possible breath into the body with the greatest ease. Let the whole body relax into the ground, feeling free and loose. Feeling free and easy. And the free and easy that you are feeling is through the body. So normally when somebody says, hey, how are you feeling? You say, I'm feeling free and easy. Then again, the reason why you understand what they're saying is because you felt like that in your body. So, it's the idea of the body knows the head interprets what the body feels. So it's a head and body thing, not one or the other. Big in, big exhale, that's why yoga calls it the body mind. Big exhale, let the legs be very soft and relaxed. Feel the body totally free. Bringing with awareness of your practice, the expansion of your meditation session. And the focus and the centeredness and the strength of your poses. Think of the down dog when you're lying like this now. Think of the meditation, think of the two at the same time, think of the breathing practice. And feeling the whole frequency or the vibration of this place, the venue. And visualize it to be golden. Means what it needs and bring it back forth. Walls, but there's also an energy in here.
prisons. some kind of a frequency and energy illumination big sigh exhale so part of the meditation experience is also then to access the state of magic whether you call it just consciousness, life force, wholeness, or add some kind of a divinity to it. It is at its best and strongest and most pure. It's almost if you think of it as a neutral and of everything, as of everything. So when we talk about a lower God or a higher divinity, if you believe in the moon, then that would be like a lower God planet moon. Death. If you think of the entire galaxy, that would be a bigger uh, power or force, for obvious relative of scale reason. If you think of all consciousness, and imagine that and breathing in and easy and art and being aware of that. And just the size and the presence of that is what you're feeling in expansion. And feeling the whole body at the same time on the floor here. You're feeling all of that with the whole body, with everything that you are. You're feeling everything that is. And bringing the feet to the floor and he's bent. Big exhale. <sighs> As we finish here, you can hug your knees, head to the ground, keep the head to the ground, then open the eyes and bring the head up to the knees. So hug the head to the knees, eyes open. And then back down again. Then just relaxing with your eyes closed. <sighs> Big sigh, out breath, wiggle your back, your body, your hips against the ground a little. <sighs> and from there, rock upright in the in breath. Just for a minute, sit in a fairly basic cross leg position. Closing the eyes, take a large in breath, big out breath. So breathing out, we've reached the end of the session. So feel how yoga practice, the bigger message of it, reason, is more or less to loosen up so that we can penetrate deeper into awareness, us aware of ourselves, us aware of ourselves in space. Deep in breath, big exhale. So we're going to play this uh, little bell now. It's got a strong piercing sound. We'll just do it once. And a sharp little ring sound. Pierces the density of the energy in the room making it a bit more bright or loosened. Big exhale, closing the eyes again if you haven't closed it. Deep in breath, big exhale. And so you open your eyes simply again.